So we've got so many different items to choose from for the last three months of BoxyCharm. I believe this should be most of what I will be picking through today to Hello, create a Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome for the first time. So I have taken the last three months of BoxyCharm that I've received. I haven't done an unboxing on these three uh, subscription months and so what I did was I shopped my BoxyCharm stash and I picked some items that I wanted to try out and use and yeah so I shopped my stash BoxyCharm style so if you want to see how I created this eye look I would love for you to stay tuned it is kind of a fun smoky eye look and a really kind of smoky plums with a bit of the bright peach to kind of lighten up the heavy eyes. I hope you enjoy this video and yeah, leave your comments, thoughts, etc. below about shopping my BoxyCharm stash. Here we go. All right, so today we're going to start out with the no per... <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute. I love the whimsical things, but I can never pronounce it right. No problem, problem primer. Supposed to smooth and it says smooth and pour covering top secret for perfect makeup touch and soul. So we're gonna try this out today. I've actually tried it once before during winter, and it didn't seem to do that great. So we're gonna give it another round. To see how this goes. It feels really good on the skin. It's kind of velvety and soft and just yeah it feels really good. Kind of feels like the pore professional that soft silky feel. That's what that feels like. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my foundation. Okay, I'm going to go, go ahead and start out with the basics obviously of my face and we're going to build up with some of these different products. I'm going to go ahead and take some pressed powder and use that underneath to catch anything we may do getting a little crazy. We're not going to get crazy. I don't know, maybe we will. All right, so I've got got my guard on. We're going to start out with the blush and this blush packet, Alamar Cosmetics. It's a Color It Blush Trio. It has some beautiful colors here, so we are going to have a little bit of fun with that. And I am going to start out with this peachy color here, which is called Castaway for the apples of the cheek. And then I'm going to use the Parisio for more of the back of the cheek, kind of to darken it up towards your hairline. So if you like the peach collections or the peach colors, I think this is just very pretty. It's gone on really nice. I did go ahead and go with a lighter lip that was not in the collection. And the lighter lip is from NARS. It is their, <clears throat> the lighter color is from NARS. It's their orgasm, almost said orgasm, orgasm lip. And I paired that with Kat Von D's Lolita 2. For eyebrows, I'm starting out with the Makeup Geek. I'm not using the plush cushion just yet because I am testing this one out a little bit more. So that's kind of how we're we gonna start pick up it. The Pretty Vulgar. I do like this. So it does remind me of um, another highlighter that I absolutely love. So the Pretty Vulgar Highlighter is just very pretty. It's called Shimmering Swan. And I thought that would just go really well or pair very well with this Alamar Colorette Trio for the blushes. Seems to do just that. It seems to work really well with the I Colorette. I have the Morphe palette here that is absolutely cute. I love the fact that it gives you a lot of different combinations so that you can take this traveling. And then I've got the Pure Festival palette. I've used this already. This smells amazing. Kind of like you're just getting ready to do your frosting on a freshly baked cake. The Morphe not so much. It, it really didn't have much of a smell. I think what we're going to do with the kind of peachy lip and cheek, we're going to go ahead and try some of these purples. 
I don't know. I just feel like a purple people eater I'm gonna today. I'm going to start out with the color Scene, which is here. And we're going to dab that on the lid. That does look very patchy as I tilt my head back. So we're just going to build on top of it. I've smoothed it out as much as I can with a blending brush. And so, yeah, we're just going to keep building and hope this hot mess kind of calms down. Kind of calms down. Next, we're going to go in with the Va Va Voom. So we're going to just take the Va Va Voom into the crease and kind of move it and swirl it around a little bit above For the underneath crease. the brow bone. We're going to pick up this color called Custom. And I am going to pick up this color here called Hello and add that right on top of the color Scene. See if we can kind of get rid of a bit of that patchiness. And that layering those colors do seem to help with the Okay, patchiness. so we've used the Morphe on the top. I would now want to skip over to this Eye Luster. It is a cream eyeshadow from Siete. And it looks a bit pinkish, purplish in the container. But I noticed when I actually use it on the eye, it almost takes more of a gold shift. Okay, on the lower lash line, I'm going to pick up a flat brush and some of the color scene. For eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and use the ink blacklist this is from pretty vulgar that came from a subscription at a boxy charm maybe last year so we're gonna pull go ahead and grab an old boxy charm item and the, the reason eyeliner. i'm not using one of the eyeliners from this last box i've had trouble getting the eyeliner to go nice over the ciate cream eye eyeshadow so I'm going to go ahead and use a cream eyeliner to go on top because I think that's just going to make things a lot more easy. And so far, I chose right. Okay, we have the eyeliner in place. I'm going to go ahead and add some glue to the back of the Lily Lashes. These are foamy, cruelty-free strip lash, reusable with proper care. Okay, while that glue is drying, I'm just going to take a powder brush and wipe off the powder that I have underneath the eyes. The Even though I did go ahead and tap the brush for the Morphe palette, I still had some fallout. We're gonna go ahead and curl those eyelashes. All right, so I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I received this in one of the BoxyCharm boxes and it's already dried out. So it didn't last that long before it really has dried out and kind of become a little bit clumpy but considering I'm going to use false eyelashes we'll go ahead and use this as my first coat and I'm really curious mascara. does anyone else think this mascara dries out really fast I was not expecting that at all please comment below because I did end up going okay I can see why my sister-in-law likes this mascara after I used it a couple times and then it just seemed like whoo boom now I do like these Lily Lashes because they kind of go a little bit shorter on the inside and flare on the outside, which makes it fun. And then I also like that they're long length this way because I got a lot of eye space since my eye really tends to be more arched than maybe the most normal people. So I need a lot of space on eyelashes. I rarely have to cut eyelashes to fit because my just that space of mine seems to be longer than everyone else's. Okay, while we are letting those top lashes set up, I'm just going to add some more of the mascara on the and lower lash line. I think we have line. completed this look using the last three months of BoxyCharm. So I use the Make Waves, the Afterglow, and La Vie en Rosé. <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope you have a fantastic day. And if you enjoyed the video, if you want to know how what I think about these 
products after a full wear day, please put any comments, questions, thoughts below. I'd love to answer any of your questions as far as how does everything stand up? Does it hold up? How do we do? How do we do? All right. Leave those comments and questions below. Until next time.